Large speech, uncontrollable movements, or the opposite, partial paralysis. Witnessing the physical effects of strokes and seizures can cause us to freeze, not knowing what to do, or even worse, perhaps panic and cause more harm than good. That's why a Bay Area woman is now on a mission to educate our community. Uh, I was laying on my parents' bed and watching TV. And the next thing I knew, I was laying on the floor. Patty Livingood was diagnosed with epilepsy when she was just 13 years old. More than 40 years later, she still suffers from seizures, almost monthly. It brings all the air out of my body. And I just go, oh, like that. Her husband jumps in to help in moments like these, but Patty fears those with neurological disorders, if alone, can find themselves in trouble. So can those surrounded by people who don't know how to react. The one thing you don't want to do, contrary to kind of an old wives' tale, is put anything in their mouth. And typically what we say is just make the area safe, get them to the ground, and we often just roll them on their side. The thought with that is that then they won't choke on their secretion. Neurologist Alfred Frontera says you also want to call 911 immediately. He's one of several doctors helping Patty create awareness about neurological disorders and stroke. The message? We all need to learn how we can help. And patients can have full lives, like Patty, a married mom with a career and a cause. I have a beautiful family. I didn't let epilepsy stop me from living a great life. Well, Patty Living Good put together a neurology awareness fair so we can identify the signs and know how to help. It's happening tomorrow, Saturday, from noon to 4 at Edgewater Park in downtown Dunedin. I think it's so cool that this one lady brought all these doctors together and did this all really on her own. Yeah, because she sees that there's a need for people to educate themselves about these uh, disorders and know how to help. Exactly. Well, it's Friday.